Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here and in this session we are going to discuss an overview of SAP S4 HANA. This will be the part 1 of uh, uh, overview. So the world is now digital. So 90% uh, of the world's data has been generated in the last two years. And uh, in the last two years, the adoption of business networks has increased by almost 40%. And it is estimated that from uh, by the end of 2020, 212 billion uh, records of data would be uh, you know, generated. And these things will be connected, like 212 billion things would be connected. And by 2020, it is estimated that 9 billion mobile users in the world would be coming up. And in 2014, uh, it was estimated that 51% of the workload process uh, shifted to cloud. This is the, uh, this is the world uh, in the digital age right now. So advances in technology. We have advances in technology which has been introduced uh, by SAP and uh, yeah before that like let's discuss about what exactly happened at the end of 2009. So 2009 we had just 5% of the world's population were owned smartphones but after immediately after four years it's, it almost increased to 22% and currently 1.7 billion people are on social networks. Uh, over the next three years that audience will surpass 2.8 five five billions and by 2020 it is estimated that five billion people will be uh, using uh, i mean like using the mobile devices and all so and and that cloud computing and internet of things is creating a digital network of virtually everything and cloud computing is almost like 41 billion businesses uh, a billion rupees so a billion dollars 41 billion dollars of business is hanged around the cloud computing and it it will grow to almost estimated to grow to up to 241 billion billion uh, uh, dollars so that's the estimation of uh, the growth in uh, in, the, in in the cloud computing <clears throat> so the world may have will be getting smarter but it has not uh, gotten by easier so it's like uh, we have massive consumerization of it means online purchasing banking and completing com completing online today Okay, so for these things, we have uh, S4HANA, which has been introduced by SAP. So because data is valuable and is often referred to as a new oil. So the advances in technology, we have powerful multi-core processors, huge affordable memory, optimized cache and cloud so i'm going to discuss with this uh, about the uh, multi-core uh, processes so multi-core processes enabling parallelism of tasks means more throughout uh, throughput of data and faster processing to give us a real-time process responses and big memory enables us to fit an entire organization's database in memory which means we lost the mechanical spinning disk and the latency in it, it it brings so we all already are aware of what exactly is in memory database which uh, if you at all if you are not aware of it you can go through a hana overview which i have uh, already created a session so you can check you can search for sap hana overview by vikram p madhuri and you can check that and you can get the detail detailed discussion and detailed explanation about uh, the in-memory database now here we have advances in the design of the onboard cache means that data can pass between memory and cpu cores very rapidly and in past uh, even with a large memory this was a bottleneck as the hungry cpus demanded more data and the journey from memory to cpus was always like optimal so in increasing our server landscape means uh, you, you 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 can you can slot more servers into the your landscape to add more processing power or memory to scale to an any size so sap rewrote its a business application software to exploit the new hardware fully so sap worked closely with the leading hardware partners who shared the product blueprints in of their of their new cpu architectures so that sap knew 
how to write the very best modern software to extract much powerful much power as possible so then we have the cloud computing so that was about optimized cache and then we have the cloud computing cloud computing technology has matured uh, in the last few years a lot and is now a compelling deployment option of uh, for our customers who do not want to take any complexity and cost of the installation of and maintenance of it landscapes so the use of virtual machines lowers the cost associated with running enterprise wide applications so public cloud services based on subscription models increase access for everyone to the latest solutions and therefore reduce the costs by simplifying everything SAP has rebuilt the business suit for suit for, for, for the digital world and uh, since the beginning of uh, SAP enterprise uh, computing uh, SAP have been rebuilding the business applications whenever major technology shifts have occurred now some key moments let's discuss about some key moments in the application uh, development history of SAP uh, like in 1979 SAP in invented the ERP tech, ERP software and SAP built a standard uh, business softwares based on mainframe technology. Uh, so at the time it was developed on mainframe technology. The name SAP R2 supports and integrates major uh, SAP business functions in real time and handle, handled uh, multi, multi country and multi currency implementations. So R at that moment meant real time, even now it means real time. And although there were there was an R1, this is not uh, regarded as the first major release. So basically, the R1 was released in 1972. So now 1992, the R3 with the rise of the personal computers, the introduction of client-server architecture means another rewrite of the applications to exploit the power of a layered three-tier architecture approach in which processes is split across three layers client application database and it is end of the monochromic uh, text-based messy green screens and the start of a new graphical interface to improve the end user experiences this is the birth of sap rt actually basically in 1992 so in 2004 uh, when when the website uh, internet was going very very fast in 1990s that's when it was planned but it was introduced in 2004 the erp ECC ECC concept basically so uh, the web is firmly established as a common business uh, uh, network and customers demanded uh, better integration between the business applications and the web so SAP de developed uh, a new integration application platform called SAP NetWeaver and it to enable this uh, now all SAP applications run on common platform and customers and partners can build and integrate existing applications easily using a widely adopted web standards such as service oriented architecture as way it's popularly called as way so additionally a little later a new switch framework is introduced to allow customers to enable uh, only the new functions developed by sap selectively in order to avoid disrupting their core processes so the sap r3 name is now placed by sap erp ERP is uh, part of larger family known as uh, SAP Business Suite, so which can, which also contains uh, many other line of businesses like applications uh, from CRM, SCM, APO, SRM, all this stuff. So in 2015, a new wave of advances of architecture that the, I mean the architecture in the sense the hardware architecture and the software architecture brings massive computing uh, power. To at, at a decreasing cost so huge memory and multi-core processors were introduced to offer massive computing uh, power the underlying design of the existing uh, sap applications does not fully exploit the power of the new hardware so a rewrite the complete a rewrite a complete business suit in is was required so the new business suit is called sap s4 hana Now, SAP S4 HANA was, uh, was uh, focused and uh, was uh, presented as a next generation core and, line, and it, it covered almost all the lines of businesses 
for the digital world. So SAP S4 HANA is not a single product but covers many applications. Customers can start with the basic applications components and add to them later. So S4 HANA Enterprise Management is a great place to start Enterprise, uh, enterprise Management. That's, that's one something which we have in the middle here. SAP S4 HANA Enterprise. As a, I mean, like this was uh, SAP S4 HANA Enterprise is an uh, is something which uh, was first introduced. So this is known as a simplified core, and it is helpful to think of SAP S4 HANA Enterprise as replacement of SAP ERP. Now it offers support for all core business processes such as uh, quotation to ca cash, QTC, and procurement to pay P 2 P and so on so for for many customers this is where their sap s4 hana adoption begins so, uh, at the sap s4 hana enterprise management that's a digital core it's called digital core so in the past uh, we had uh, multiple add-on applications surrounding the core that's uh, for example if we have let's say ecc 6.0 it was surrounded by crm srm uh, APO and all this stuff. So surrounded the core uh, is easy, but with overlapping models and uh, much redundancy, overlaps and redundancy are complex, uh, co completely removed from SAP S4 HANA. So a key point in, in is that SAP S4 HANA is built natively and optimally to run only on the SAP S4 HANA platform. That's SAP HANA platform. So basically, it covers as we see on the screen. It 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 covers the you know the S4 HANA finance part. So initially, initially SAP launched S4 HANA when we when they launched SAP S4 HANA the first time. Uh, initially, finance update was released, and later it, it kept releasing all the updates for all the various um, you know uh, dimensions like you know SAP S4 HANA finance, human resources. HANA manufacturing and S4 HANA supply chain, S4 HANA asset management, S4 HANA sales, S4 HANA services, S4 HANA marketing, S4 HANA sourcing procurement, and S4 HANA research and development. Now, the key aspects of S4 HANA are these what we see on the screen, and the figure uh, actually highlights the most important aspects of SAP S4 HANA. So SAP S4 HANA is built on SAP HANA platform as we already discussed. So it inherits all the cap capabilities of this powerful uh, in-memory data, data management and application platform. This includes advanced uh, uh, text mining, predictive analysis, yeah, predictive analysis and simulation and decisions. Uh, we have the decision making support and powerful real-time decision support with access to any type of data in real time so a brand new users user experience is delivered to improve the productivity and satisfaction of business users and bring brings the interference uh, interface uh, up to the customer grade experience which is uh, optimized for any device so sap s4 hana can be deployed on premise in the cloud or combination of both so we can have okay this is the work pattern that we have and right now we have fiori app which can which which improves the uh, look and feel of the of the front end and like uh, the the user experience is highly uh, highly sophisticated right now so we have a choice of going ahead with either the in a cloud platform or uh, on premise edition or or both and the data model has been massively simplified this means this means we have lost unnecessary tables and the data is is uh, in those tables in order to shrink to the footprint dramatically and to simplify the applications design and extensively so and i'm going to discuss more in detail about the you know, that's a footprint reduction so i'm going to discuss more about this in the next coming session thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our, our channel if you like my video, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. All that you have to do is click on our logo, logo and uh, subscribe. And do not forget to click on the bell button. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.